Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday, and welcome to the Specialist Trading Educational Presentation. Now, today I'd like to talk to you about a unique approach to trading candlesticks. And the reason why we're focusing on candlesticks this morning is because I would venture to say roughly 80% uh, to even 90% of all traders either are using currently uh, using candlesticks or I have done so in the past. Now, here's the only problem. In my opinion, most traders, including myself, when I was first taught how to trade with candlesticks, are usually taught the wrong way in which to apply them. And that's why you're not really trying to see the results that you'd love to see using candlesticks. Once again, it has to do with how we were originally taught how to apply any type of candlestick to our trading. For example, here is the standard definition of candlestick patterns. Candlestick patterns are reversal patterns, usually occurring at either the top or the bottom of a trend. So that's the way we were taught to use them. As we see a nice downtrend in place here, we see that we're looking for some type of reversal. We're looking for some type of pattern that's telling us that the downtrend will stop or bottom out. And so we'll go along at the very bottom, hopefully, and catch a nice reversal in trend. Now, as we look right here, we see that there's some support, a little double bottom. Maybe that uh, class you took on the institutions is telling you that there's a lot of buying going on here. And on top of that, with traditional wisdom telling us with candlestick patterns, two of the most popular patterns, engulfing patterns, are displayed right here. This is a very popular pattern, probably the easiest, easiest recognizable pattern there is, a bullish engulfing pattern. A lot of traders like to use these as reversal patterns. So for all intents and purposes, they are, these are really nice buy signals. So you step in and buy probably at both of those spots right there, and then this happens, okay? Look familiar to anybody. Now this can happen going the other way as well. Let's look at an older chart here of Apple. Let's say you were originally interested in purchasing Apple and all of a sudden on this day, either some news or something happens where it gaps up and you're kind of left holding the bag there. You missed it. You didn't want to pay up that high. And on top of that, that indicator you purchased is telling you that it's overbought. So you don't want to step in and buy right now. It's too high. And as well, look what we have here. We have the opposite side of the coin. We have a bearish engulfing pattern. Remember, engulfing patterns are the easiest recognizable pattern there is. They're the most popular amongst all candlestick patterns. They're easy to identify and they occur often. So this one is actually telling you that you should be selling. So let's say you jump in and sell and then this happens, okay? Once again, does that look familiar to anyone? You see, this is what happens usually with traditional candlestick trading. Every once in a while, you'll get a really nice setup and it'll work perfectly. But over time, you'll see many of situations like this. So we have to ask ourselves, is there a better way to trade candlesticks? Well, that's the subject of today's educational presentation because I'm going to share with you a unique approach to trading with candlesticks today. And on top of that, I'm going to show you how simple it is to apply simply by using our platform, the PTS Promote Charting Platform. This is the educational platform that actually teaches traders a unique way to trade with candlesticks. So welcome to this educational presentation today. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. I'll be your presenter today. If you're new to my webinars, uh, we're a little bit different from other educational uh, presentations you may have seen or attended in the past. And the fact that we don't promise to have a system or a method that never fails the way some other uh, presentations are. And also in the fact that we don't give predictions. If you've come here today thinking, well, what I'm going to tell you about what I think my opinion is of the market, if it's going to top out today or going to go higher, or what I think the best stock is to buy, uh, my recommendation for a particular market or a time frame, you've come to the wrong place because that actually goes entirely against our philosophy at Specialist Trading. You see, as an educational company, our motto, our philosophy is a good mentor does not trade for you, but he teaches you how to trade. Now, I know a lot of students, especially beginning students, will say, well, Steve, why can't you just tell me what you're trading? So I'll just piggyback alongside with it. I mean, if there's enough for everyone to go around, what does it matter? Well, the reason why it matters is because no two traders should ever trade alike. And when you piggyback off of someone else, you're using their persona or their personal likes or dislikes about a certain situation to dictate what you're going to do. And that's why most traders fail. I mean, think of it. The entire industry is based on you going to a website or a signal service or purchasing some $10,000 system that takes you entirely out of the game 
where you have no decision making uh, in the uh, entire process, but you just blindly follow along. Think of it, the entire industry is based on that. And if this worked so well, why is it estimated that 80% of all traders fail? Well, obviously it's because it doesn't work. This style, this method does not work. So we need a process that's going to get you involved, that helps you to make your own trading decisions. And the way we do that is by simply educating you with things that have stood the test of time. I know a lot of you are saying, well, how do you know what stood the test of time? Well, I don't actually, I haven't been trading for 100, 200 years, but I've been trading for a good portion of that, 43 years. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for 16 years and nine of those years I was a specialist. That's where we get the name specialist trading. A specialist is someone who specialized in making markets. So I made markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. One of them was IBM, another one Waste Management, US Air. So if you wanted to buy or sell a particular equity that I made a market in, you had to contact your flow broker and then he in turn would walk up in front of my post with those weird hand signals and all the paper on the floor. And I would give him a bid or an offer for what he wanted to purchase or sell. So I traded through straight up markets, straight down markets, like the crash of 87. I was making a market during the crash. I've seen just about every trading technique, every method around. So in my 43 years of trading experience, I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. So why waste your hard earned time and most especially your hard earned money searching for that holy grail when it really does exist, but it's right here in front of you. It's called educating yourself. Remember, most traders blindly follow someone else. They take themselves out of the game and ask someone else to make their decisions for them. Remember, that is a recipe for disaster. Most traders do that, myself included, when I first started trading, and most traders fail, upwards of 80 to 85%. The only way that I've seen in my 43 years that you will become a consistent trader, by consistent, I don't mean having a couple of good years, I mean a couple of good decades, three or four good decades is by making your own trading decisions. And that's the service we provide. We provide all of our students around the world in over 115 countries and in virtually every state in the United States, all of the techniques, methods, and strategies that have stood the test of time that show high levels of consistency. And you're gonna see that today in the attention I give into detail and trying to teach you this particular uh, method today, right? Giving you a couple of great edges to trade with. Now, before we begin, Remember, we want you uh, to ask as many questions, but also we have to take a look at our disclaimer because I'm going to share with you a lot of performance results using uh, my new approach to trading with candlesticks. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Also, please remember that all examples are strictly for educational purposes only since we are first and foremost an educational company. Now, if you're looking for more education on a daily basis, I invite each and every one of you to follow us, if you haven't done so already, to follow us on Twitter. Here's our handle right there. I would suggest copying that down. Every day I post different information on a daily basis, anywhere from signals our strategies have generated to little bits of financial wisdom along the way that I've accumulated. Lots of great free education, so please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now remember, we are, as I stated in the opening statements, an educational company, first and foremost. We're not here to tell you what to buy or what to sell. I'm not going to ever tell you what I think the market's going to do. I have no idea what the market's going to do. You're going to see our philosophy today in that it really doesn't matter what the market does. All that matters is that we learn how to listen to it and then just jump on board. That's all that really matters. Who cares if you predict if it's going to go up or down tomorrow? The market usually tells you sometimes days, sometimes weeks in advance, what it wants to do. So our job is simply to jump on board. There's nothing else we need to do. So as a trader and as an educator, I'm not gonna trade for you. My goal is simply to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. Now, this is the same edge that was taught to me some four decades ago when I was struggling myself when I first started to trade and what has sustained me now, going on now for four decades, and hopefully it will be able to do the same for you. So once again, ask me as many questions as you like in today's presentation, but please wait till the end of today's class. I have, I think I counted 165 slides I have for you today. Lots of uh, displays, lots of chart examples. So if we stop at every slide, we're gonna be here way too long. So please, if you have a question, write it down or kindly wait till the very end, probably the next half hour. I promise I'll get to each and every one of your questions. The only question I will answer is this one. Are we recording this? Yes, we are. So if you have to leave early, 
or if you're having technical uh, difficulties, many times if you log off and then log back on, they'll be resolved. But if you can't see or hear clearly, don't worry. Each and every one of you will get a link to this recording today so you can watch it at your, at your own leisure, okay? All right, so have a good crowd here today. Please wait till the very end to ask any questions. Let's begin today's class. All right, now remember, we talked about a unique approach to trading candlesticks. So remember, this is based off that definition we originally gave you, okay? So if you're asking what is this unique approach to trading candlesticks, we're just gonna turn things completely around because candlestick patterns I have found over the last four decades have a higher level of consistency if you do the opposite, if you trade them in sync with the trend. You see, this goes entirely against everything we were taught and trained to do, myself included when I first started looking at candlesticks. We're always taught that they are a reversal pattern. And if you have a downtrend, you're looking for a candlestick to reverse the trend to buy at the bottom. If you have an uptrend, you're looking for a reversal candlestick pattern to sell at the top and make some money as it goes down. But I have found there's no consistency in that approach. Kind of like a, an urban myth. You'll have more consistency if you trade candlesticks, candlesticks in sync with the trend as opposed to opposite the trend. As we see here, here's a clear cut downtrend. Rather than try and pick a bottom, let's look to go with it. The same way with an uptrend. Rather than try and pick a top, let's simply go with it. Now, everyone in the world has a different idea of how to discern what the trend is, okay? Here are three of the most popular ones. A lot of traders like to look at indicators, okay? I like to, uh, they like to look at overbought, oversold indicators. Still other uh, traders like to look at patterns, okay? Higher highs, higher lows, and so forth. Still, I would say most traders like to look at different time frames. I, I can't tell you how many emails I get on a daily basis saying, hey, Steve, well, uh, if the uh, higher time frame, let's say the weekly time frame is going up, then the daily time frame should be going up as well, right? That's how I'm in sync with the trend. This is... Uh, these three are probably most of the common ways that people trade with the trend. There's only one problem. They're okay, but they don't have high levels of consistency. They're usually a day late and a dollar short. For example, as we see this older chart of Aetna, most traders would say, okay, well, I've decided right around here we're in an uptrend. So right here, I'm going to step in and buy. And just when you step in, this happens, right? So it's a little bit late. So we need something that is an early trend detector. We need an early trend detector that's going to tell us in advance when the market wants to change trend. Not going to pick the top, not going to pick the bottom, but a little more uh, in advance than other basic trend identifiers. Is there one available? Well, actually there is. This is something I was uh, first introduced to some four decades ago on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange when I was on the floor by my mentors. At that time, we called it the formula. But we've changed it. We've made it easier for you because it was a formula that you had to calculate almost on a tick-by-tick -tick basis. Now, we call it the PET-D. This is our early trend detector. It's almost a translator because it simply translates what the market wants to do on a tick-by-tick -tick basis. So it's really not predicting anything. It's just telling us it's like a, a translation of another language because it's hard to determine what the market wants to do because it's like speaking another language. Well, now we have a translator that can tell us what it wants to do. Let me show you how it works. What we've done is we've taken the hard work out of it for you. You don't have to calculate anything. We've developed this into a color bar algorithm. All you have to do on our platform is simply click on the PET-D in the upper green strategy tab right here, and the colors automatically change. If you see a series of green bars, the algorithm is telling you the market wants to go higher on a tick-by-tick -tick basis. So we didn't have to say, well, we have higher highs, higher lows here. I guess we're in an uptrend right here. We knew well in advance three bars of green that we want to be going higher, according to the market. And we didn't have to find out by this time that we were stopped at and we lost all our money. We knew well in advance that the market had changed direction by now turning colors and changing red. So you see how powerful this is. Let's go back now and look at those uptrend and downtrend charts. For example, we didn't have to say down here like, well, we broke the support, so I guess we're in a clear cut downtrend. Once you apply the PET-D on our platform, simply click on the PET-D tab and the colors change, we knew well in advance, way back here, 
when all the colors were red, three to five red bars, that the market was telling us. It was translating, it wants to go lower. Same thing with the upside. We didn't have to figure out right here when it broke this high that, okay, I guess we're in a confirmed uptrend now. All we have to do is click on the pet D on our platform. The colors automatically change to green. So we knew well in advance right here that we were in an uptrend. So you see the tremendous edge you have now. I have been using this almost on a daily basis since I learned this on uh, the floor of the exchange. And I can't tell you how much I use it in my own personal trading on a daily basis because it's just one click away on our platform. So how can we use it now with candlesticks? How can this help us? All right, we're gonna be talking about engulfing patterns. Remember, you can apply this with virtually any candlestick pattern, but since engulfing patterns are the most common and most used pattern that I've seen in my experience, and most traders love them because they're so easy to recognize and they are so many of them are generated on a bar by bar basis. Let's talk about trading engulfing patterns that are in sync with the pet D. Remember, we're not gonna try and go against the trend and buck the trend. We wanna be in sync with the trend. Okay, so here's the rule. Bullish engulfing patterns, we're only gonna buy if the engulfing bar, that's bar number two of this two bar pattern is colored green by the pet D. That's it, that's how simple it is. So in other words, here's a refresher course on engulfing patterns, okay? It's a two bar pattern. Bar number one usually opens and then closes lower. Bar number two usually opens and closes higher. Now it doesn't have to be that way. Bar number one can also be up on the day, but it usually is this way. This is the standard format. And what happens is the open to close range of bar number two engulfs the open to close range of bar number one, whether that bar in bar number one is higher or lower, it makes no difference. It just really engulfed the open to close range. Now what we wanna do, is see that bar number two is colored or outlined green once we apply the pad D. So it really makes no difference what color bar number one is. It could be red or green, it makes no difference. But bar number two needs to be outlined green in order for this to be a high probability setup. And as you can see, it is. Now we have a white body because it's an update. It's just reflecting the background, but the outline is green. So this is telling us it's a high probability up move is most likely in store. Now let's see how this translates over onto our platform. Let's say you're looking at this chart, okay? All the chart of win. And you're saying to yourself, well, Steve, you know, I go to that chat room and the uh, guy, the moderator in there really doesn't like this. He says we're in a trendless, you know, kind of rangy pattern. So you shouldn't touch this because this is where you usually get whipsawed, right? This is where you buy at the top and sell at the bottom. So the market, if I'm listening to the market the way you say, the market's telling me it doesn't know what it wants to do. It's just kind of going sideways. All right, well, not really, because we take our cue from the market. Now, this is a very superficial way of determining what the market wants to do just by looking at the chart. Remember, we need our translator. Our translator tells us what the market wants to do. And on top of that, what do we have here? We have a bullish engulfing pattern. So how can we have a bullish engulfing pattern in a sideways market? Well, first of all, is it really a sideways market? We apply the PED D, on our platform, simply click it on. And now we see that bar number two in the engulfing pattern is green. That's all we need to know. And as you can see, bar number one is red, but it wouldn't make any difference if bar number one was green or red. And on top of that, it makes no difference what all these other bars are. We're just concerned with the color of bar number two. And that's enough to tell us that this is a buy signal. I know a lot of you would say, wait a minute, but Steve, we're going sideways. How can I just buy this? Or maybe you like to follow fundamental news. You say, Steve, the earnings aren't supposed to come out till next week. I'm going to kind of wait and see what they are. Remember, this is why most traders fail, because you're blindly following along something that's supposed to tell you what the market's going to do. Either some guy in a chat room or some earnings report or some guy on TV or some presidential election. The market tells you what it wants to do. We just have to learn how to listen to it. In this instance, the market told us it wanted to go higher and the stock went up 12 points in the next week, okay? Now, what if we wanna sell? Well, now we're looking at bearish engulfing patterns, the opposite side of the coin. So we're only gonna sell if the engulfing bar or bar number two is colored red, all right? Now remember, an engulfing pattern is a two bar pattern, but in this case, bar number one it's open to close range is up, as you see by the hollow body up bar. 
And bar number two, open to close range, is down, as you see by the dark body bar. Now, bar number one can either be up or down. I would say the majority of the time it's up. But the main thing is that the open to close of bar number two engulfs the open to close of bar number one, whether bar number one is up or down. So this is a negative pattern. The way to give it very high probability is to add the pet D. We want to see bar number two colored red. So when we add the pet D, we see that it is. Now, I know a lot of beginning students say, but Steve, bar number one is green. It makes no difference. We have no interest in what color bar number one is or what all the bars are colored before or even after. All we are concerned with is bar number two. When you see this setup, this is a high probability down move setup. All right, so let's look at this example now. And fossil, this old example. Traditional wisdom would tell us to look for a reversal, right? For example, we're in a clear cut downtrend, obviously. So now we're looking for engulfing patterns, right? Here's a bullish engulfing pattern. Now, nine times out of 10, most students were taught to buy this, myself included, when I first started. This is a high probability buy setup, right? But we're not listening to traditional wisdom anymore because we know there's really no high levels of consistency. Remember, you will have a higher level of consistency if you only trade candlesticks in sync with the trend. So how do we know what the trend is? We add our translator, the pet D. And what color is bar number two? Bar number two is red. In order for us to buy this, bar number two needed to be green. So we're not gonna buy this. We're not gonna even take this trade and look how much money you just saved yourself. You see how the pet D can help you by not being involved in trades? And let's see how it could have helped us. If we were learning this new approach, this unique approach to trading, we would have been looking for bearish engulfing patterns like this one right here. Or if we missed that one, like this one right here. Do you see how you just put the odds in your favor by trading in sync with the trend, by listening to the pet D and using the candlestick patterns that are in sync? Remember, we're never going to try and pick tops and bottoms. That is a gambling mentality. If you're a trader, if you're trying to be a professional trader and last better than a couple of months or a couple of years of trading, but trying to last for decades, you always want to be in sync with the trend. You never want to go against it, all right? It's a gambling mentality to try and pick tops and bottoms. It's a professional trader's mentality to trade in sync with the trend. All right, now when we combine these two techniques of candlesticks in sync with the pet D, we create one of our most successful packages for trading candlesticks. This is our candlestick combo. This is our, one of our most, I would say, consistent ways to trade candlesticks. And when I say consistent, I don't mean that every trade is going to be a winner. In fact, in a few minutes, I'll share with you some recent examples of lo losing trades. But please remember, consistency does not mean that all the trades are winners. Consistency means an awareness that you will have losses from time to time. That's perfectly admissible. But a consistent method is one that's able to recoup those losses, often on the very next setup. So our candlestick combo is extremely consistent, okay? All right, so let's look and see just by applying, once again, we're just gonna focus on bullish and bearish engulfing patterns because they're the most easily recognizable pattern. Most traders, even beginning traders, know what a bullish or bearish engulfing pattern is. Even if you didn't, we just gave you a refresher course on this two bar pattern. So let's make it simple and look at some recent examples. And remember, everything you're gonna be seeing right now was generated on the PTS Primo charting platform. I developed this with Pro Trader Strategies with one goal in mind, to make trading simple. This is what I wish I would have had some 43 years ago when I was learning how to trade so that I could check my work, so that I could see automatic buy and sell setups for me, so I could have the pet D at one click access right there in front of me. Remember everything 43 years ago, we didn't even have internet then. <laughs> you know, we, I remember the first day we had actual charts on our, uh, our trading screens. You know, up until when I first started trading, there were actually no charts. We had to look at paper charts. The only uh, access we had on our screens was just uh, the tape going by and looking at a spreadsheet of numbers, you know, updating. So I wish I had had this 43 years ago in the 70s when I first started, and that's why I created it for all the beginnings as well as advanced traders to make trading simple, okay? All right, so let's look at some recent examples using this candlestick combo. Let's look at BBBY, okay, Bed Bath and Beyond. Once again, we are in, obviously, in some type of an uptrend here. 
normally traditional wisdom would tell us, well, we've got to look for reversal, right? I mean, we're overbought. Uh, we're going up a little bit too high here. So I want to look to sell. But remember, that's the way we were always taught. And there's no consistency in that. At the very top of this range, what do we have here? We have a bullish engulfing pattern, okay? Bar number two engulfs the range of bar number one. Now, before we take it, we want to check our work to make sure we're in sync with the trend. Click on the pet D, make sure bar number two is green. And yes, bar number two is green. It's outline green. So if you wanted to, this is a valid candlestick combo setup. You could buy right here if you wanted to, and look what happened. Now, most of our very basic ways for entry call for us to enter it the next day if you trade above bar number two's high. So if you had decided to take this trade, well, guess what? You had, would have had to buy here on the opening. But that wouldn't have even been a bad trade because look what happened. Weeks later, you're still up eight points. That's still a nice trade. How about this example here in run? Okay, clear to see we're in a downtrend, right? Normally, you would say, well, Steve, there's major support here. Okay, we, we can't sell. Now, look, at we're, we're trying to make a, a bottom here. And I was told in that trading room that this should be bought. Well, first of all, let's look for a candlestick pattern. We're in a downtrend, and we have a bearish engulfing pattern right there. In order to check our work to see if it's really in sync with what the translator is telling us, we click on the pet D. Yes, it's colored red. Remember, bar number two is the only bar that needs to be red. That's all we need, okay? We just need to have bar number two red. And as we can see, it is. As we go forward, the stock went down 13 points. Remember, how much money would you have made if you tried to buy at the bottom, if you tried to pick a bottom, okay? You probably would have lost. It's really a losing mentality to try to pick bottoms. Sure, every once in a while, you'll be able to do it. Just like, uh, you know, gambling at Vegas, every once in a while at the slot machines, which have the worst odds of any uh, gaming uh, machine there. But every once in a while, you'll be able to hit a jackpot. And it gives you that false sense of security that you're on the right road, right? You'll see like, hey, I'm starting to make some money back. Okay, let's get my luck going. But if they're designed to have you stay there over time, because if you stay there over time, you're going to give all of it back. Trying to pick tops and bottoms are the exact same concept. If you continue to do it over time, you're really not going to have a lot to show for it. Sure, every once in a while, you'll pick these great tops or great bottoms, and you'll pat yourself on the back and say, hey, I'm on the right track. But if you keep doing it, you're going to give it all back. Take it from someone who's been there before, okay? Now, one thing I just want to mention, I got, I, I see here, I got a little note that someone that was not able to hear anything. I just want to check because sometimes I've known we've had some uh, audio uh, examples uh, in the past that weren't coming through. So if you're able to hear, please go to your question and answer box. Just type in uh, a Y or an N, yes or a no, if you're able to hear. I don't want to keep going the way I have in some past webinars where I've spoken for an hour and not one person was able to hear anything. So if you're able to hear me, just click in Y or yes. Okay, great. The majority of you are saying yes. Good. So I think, once again, if the people out there, I see one gentleman had difficulty hearing. Oftentimes, it's your own internet connection, okay? Great. The majority of you are saying yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't talking to uh, no one here. All right, let's go on to the next example. Oh, by the way, if you missed this one, don't worry. There was still another example here you could have taken full example, uh, advantage of for another five or eight points to the downside. All right, let's look at BMI. All right, now here's what we mean by consistency. Remember, consistency does not mean every trade is a winner. Consistency means that you're able to recoup losses because you have a consistent method. For example, BMI is in an upward move, right? So we're not going to look to buy. We're going to look actually, or I should say to sell. We're going to look to buy. But at this point, we hit some type of resistance. And on top of that, what do we find here? We have a bearish engulfing pattern. Now, we're still in a so-called uptrend, so we really don't want to sell it, but we have to check with our translator. Because if bar number two is red, we should take that trade. So we click on the pet D, and guess what? It is red. So that's a valid sell signal in the candlestick combo. So we jump in and sell thinking this is a great trade. Steve taught me about this. I'm excited. You know, I'm a new student. This is my first trade, and look what happens. Right off the bat, you lost about a good five points, okay? Now, what most traders do is they play the victim game. They say, 
this stuff never works. This guy's a con. He just showed me something that never works. And that's it. I'm going to throw this out the window. I'm going to ask for a refund. Uh, none of this stuff works. This is the way most traders uh, view trading. Like someone's trying to say something. And, and there are a lot of faulty you know, systems or methods out there that don't have any levels of consistency. But remember, it's a numbers game. Not every trade is going to be a winner. Rather than just go in the corner and sulk and blame uh, everyone else but yourself, you just have to get back on your horse because look what happened. Okay, sure, if you used a generic stop here, maybe you would have lost five points, but look what happened right here. There's a bullish engulfing pattern just a week later. And look what happened after that. Potentially, you could have made 15 points. Do you think you could have made back that five point initial loss? This is what we mean by consistent. We know that not every setup is going to be a winner. But a consistent method, as we see right here, is one that has the ability to recoup its losses, sometimes on the very next trade. So this is what we mean by consistency. You know, don't get fooled by you know, webinars or uh, seminars you've gone to where someone says, we never lose. This thing had one loss in the last five years. I mean, that's silly. All the great traders I know that have been trading 30, 40 years, they lose regularly. But their method is able to recoup those losses. All right, how could we have taken advantage of VLO? Looking back in hindsight, it's a very strong downtrend coming in here into November, right? Well, if we apply the pad D and we look for bearish engulfing patterns, look at all the chances we had to go short. Now, all this time, the market told you in advance it wanted to go lower by coloring bar number two red. No news, no volume, no interest rates, no uh, earnings reports were involved in any of these decisions. Someone could say, well, how did you know to go short? Well, we didn't know. The market told us. Remember, we only trade off of listening to one thing. And that's not some guy in a chat room. That's not some guy on TV. That's not even some guy in a webinar. We only listen to one thing, the chart in front of us. And the translator told us it wanted to go lower. All right, how about EV? All right, here's another example of consistency. Consistency doesn't always mean that you will uh, uh, have a loss here and there, but it also means that sometimes it'll keep you out of a trade just to make sure you're going in the right direction. For example, right here, we have two bullish engulfing patterns. Now, which one should we have taken? Well, here's where our translator, the pet D, comes in handy. Once you apply this, we see that the very first one, bar number two, is outlined red. So we don't want to take that one. And even though it would have been a nice trade, we still had one to take here. Consistency is all about just making sure that you're in a good trade. At this point, our translator wasn't sure if this was a good enough trade to take. It didn't mean that it was necessarily bad, but according to its calculation, it just said, well, listen, there wasn't enough consistency here to generate a valid setup. So it didn't uh, you know, qualify this as a regular uh, canister combo buy. But this one did. So all you had to wait for is another week. And sure, you didn't buy at the very bottom, but you still could have potentially made 22 points in one week. So this is the beauty of being able to listen to the market. It's not going to get you in at the bottom or the top, but it is highly consistent. Whoops, kind of jumped the gun there. As we look at letter V, we're kind of going up, then we're going back down. And now we see we have a series of bearish engulfing patterns, but we really haven't established any type of trend. You know, we're kind of just in a sideways area. But that's just off face value. Once we add the pet D early trend detector, we see that we have one, two, three confirmed candlestick combo setups to sell. Had you taken any one of these, potentially you could have made 22 points. Okay. Oftentimes these signals are a little bit early, but that's okay. Let's say you had taken this signal and you had a very tight stop. Well, most likely you would have been stopped out here. But if you got back on board, I'm sure you would have made most of it back and then some. All right, here's an example in uh, Dunkin' Brands, okay? Dunkin' Donuts. We have two buy signals here, and this is the way most of our beginning students trade. They'll get excited, they'll follow the rules, but then they slip back into their old ways of trading. For example, they'll have two buy signals here, and then they'll say, well, Steve, there's major resistance. So I don't know if I should take this. But once you add the pet D, these were good trades. And let's say you had taken them, all right? Well, you had a nice setup here, and then we run into some resistance, okay? But what is the market? What is our translator telling us about the market? It's saying that even though there may be some so-called resistance, maybe there's some so-called stopping or, uh, uh, you know, very uh, slow moving or sideways range or consolidation, 
What's the color? The color is still green. In other words, the market is still translating that it wants to eventually go higher. It may take a while, but it wants to. So rather than just sell, you, know, you always have the option to sell and get out using one of our many exit levels. But rather than do that, look at you have to be villager because here is another buy setup. And look what happened. 30 points after that setup was made. Now, if you missed that one, don't worry. Two more were generated along the way. How did we know this was going to gap up like that? We didn't know. The market told us it wanted to go higher. Now, in our course, I, I, I had a, uh, a email the other day. Someone on Twitter said, oh, yeah, well, this is really good, but I wouldn't trade this because uh, you most likely would have been stopped out or, you know, how are you going to protect yourself? Well, remember, I don't give away all of our stops and exits and everything on our Twitter page because that wouldn't be fair to all of our students who purchase our courses. But in our course, the Candlestick Combo course, we give you upwards of seven different exit uh, uh, methods to choose from, seven different stop placement methods to choose from, and included with that, seven different entry uh, points to choose from. So it's up to you. Remember, our goal as an educator is not to trade for you. Our goal is to teach you and to provide you with all these different variables so that you can decide. What stays the same is the setup. But how you enter, how you exit, how you place your stop is totally up to you. Remember, our goal is to have you make your own decisions, not us. Therefore, two traders can trade the same setup. For example, one trader could have taken this setup and said, I'm going to get a quick out and make a couple of points and say thank you. Another trader could say, no, I'll, I'll exit somewhere up here and take this other exit method and say, thank you very much. Still, someone else would say, no, I'm going for the full gamut here and maybe may, possibly made 30 points. Was one wrong and the other one right? No. What's wrong is when you follow someone else. If you traded the setup and made one point, but that's what you wanted to do, then that's right. That's the way you want to trade. You have to trade a way in which makes you feel comfortable. No two traders should ever trade alike. That's why we don't believe in chat rooms or trading rooms. That's why we're not a signal service, because we don't believe in that. We would be doing you a disservice if we told you how to trade. That goes entirely against our philosophy. All right, let's look at another example here in SAP, all right? Once again, let's say you took that $10,000 class on the institutions, on support and resistance, and you say, Steve, listen, this is major, major support. I took that class. And they told me that you've got to follow the institutions of the big banks and they're buying everything right here. That's why we can't go any lower because this is where all the big buyers are. And you got to buy, you know, why would I want to go against a multi-billion dollar institution here? Okay. Trust me, I've heard it a million times before. We only listen to one thing. I don't care what an institution is doing. I, trust me, they have some of the worst track records I've ever seen amongst traders. I used to trade with them on the floor of the exchange, so I know firsthand. I only listen to the market. And what is our translator telling us? Well, first of all, it's telling us through the pattern that there's a bearish engulfing pattern here. And when we confirm it with the pet D, bar number two is colored red. So why would I even concern myself with what the institutions do when the market, the source of what I'm trading is telling me what it wants to do, okay? That would like, you know, b betting on a horse. And if I were able to talk to the horse, if I had a translator, who would I rather listen to? Uh, some guy up in a booth, uh, you know, announcing the horse race or some guy, uh, you know, in the stands or maybe the horse himself telling me what he's going to be doing in this race. I'd rather listen to the horse, right? It's the same thing with the market. We have a translator that tells us what it wants to do. So I'm like, I don't care what an institution is doing. Once again, they had some of the worst track records I've ever seen. Sometimes they would take 75% drawdowns. Can you imagine losing 75% of all your capital? I mean, I wouldn't put my faith in any, any, uh, strategy or system or method that lost 75% of its value? Listen to the market. Oftentimes it tells you in advance before a 45 point downward move, okay? This is the beauty of knowing how to be in sync with the market and the pet D and our candlestick combo can help you tremendously. All right, so let's go through the process here of uh, Algen, ALG and uh, Align Technologies, okay? Once again, most traders looking at this would say, Steve, no trend, a rangeless market. I don't see anything here, all right? That's not the process we follow. The first process we follow is applying strategy number five. I'm gonna show you how strategy number five, that candlestick combo course members would trade because strategy number five is included in the candlestick combo. All right, first thing you do is click that on. We teach you what to look for, where the signals are. In order to check your work, you would click this on, 
click on signal arrows. You're going to see an arrow either above or below a signal just to make sure you're in line. Remember, you know what to look for. You're in charge. This isn't a blind system where you just look for the arrows to buy or sell. You have to understand why a signal was generated. So in order to check your work, click it on, click on signal arrows, and guess what? If you thought there was a buy signal here, you're correct. That's a valid strategy number five, candlestick combo signal, okay? Now, in order to apply a level of confidence with the pet D, click on pet D, and yes, the bar above the arrow is green. So now this is a valid candlestick combo strategy setup. Now, as I said earlier, most of our generic setups, we usually enter one bar or one tick above that bar. So you would have entered right here the next day. Nothing much happened for the remaining four days. Remember, we're not concerned with the color of the bars before or after. We're simply, once we enter, we place our stop somewhere and we place our exit somewhere. We simply wait. It's like fishing. You just simply cast your line and wait. So after four days, nothing much has happened. But on the fifth day, look with this, 135 potential points you could have made just off a little longer than a week, okay? Once again, most of our beginning students are fascinated. They say, how did you know this? We don't know how high or how low something is gonna go. We're only listening to the market. Obviously, something caused this to gap up like this. Most traders would be buying on that day that it gapped up 100 or so points. Guess what? The candlestick combo told you to get in four days prior to that. All right, let's look really quickly at some different time frames and some different markets because this can be applied to any market, any time frame. Here's a weekly chart of NIO, NIO, okay? Once again, most traders looking at this would say, well, Steve, I have always been taught, we're, and even on a weekly chart, we're in an uptrend, and what do we have? We have a bearish engulfing pattern. So I should sell this, or if I'm long this already in my uh, long-term account, I should get out, right? Well, what is the translator telling us? Well, it would have really helped you if you applied it first because it told us it was green. See, in order for you to have that as a valid signal, that had to be outlined red. So that's why you would not have lost anything, or if you were along the stock, you would not have heeded that. You would have said, listen, I'm not gonna get worried about this. This is not a valid signal. And if you wanted to go long, you would have been able to buy right here, potentially right here. How about a four hour chart of the Euro Yen, okay? Because this can be applied to uh, four hour charts of candlesticks, five minute charts, weekly bars, makes no difference. How could we have taken advantage of the Euro Yen right here? Well, we have bearish engulfing patterns and all the bars were red. Even right here, when it looked like nothing was happening, the pet D translator was coloring all these bars red and look what happened. All you have to do is look for candles patterns. Potentially, you could have made 180 pips, close to $2,000 per unit. Lastly, any E-mini traders here? Here's a five-minute chart of the E-mini. This is going back to Monday, just a couple of days ago. On a five-minute chart, okay, we're going up. Most traders would say, well, Steve, this is where we look to sell, right? This is where we want to sell, but using our candlestick combo, click on strategy number five, because we think we have a buy signal here. Maybe we have a couple of them. Click on signal arrow to check our work. And yes, we have two buy signals right here. All right, so what we want to find out is that the bar above the arrow is colored green by the pet D. That will confirm a candlestick combo. Click on pet D fast, and there it is. So now you have a valid, two valid signals. You could have taken this in the E-mini, 30 potential points. Even if you missed that, there was another one later on during the day. All right, 30 points. Translates to $1,500 per contract if you stayed in that long. And guess what? This all happened roughly within an hour or so. $1,500 you could have made. Okay, let's recap. Only buy or sell candlestick patterns that are in sync with the pet D. You will have a higher level of consistency. I just shared with you recent charts in all markets, in all time frames, and in all directions. I like to go to a lot of webinars myself and see what other educators are talking about. And usually they have these fantastic examples that made hundreds of points and everything. And then I look at their examples and the date. And most of them are about six months to even years old. So that's why I wanted to share with you things that happened not only in the last couple of weeks, but in the last couple of days to show you how valid our candlestick combo is. But please remember, you wanna ask yourself, do you think these methods can help your trading for the remainder of 2020? Remember, we only have a couple of months left. 
But these are important points to remember before you make a decision. What I showed you here was not a complete strategy. Remember, we didn't talk about exact entry points. We didn't talk about exact exit points, okay? We didn't talk about stop placement. We didn't talk about advanced exits. So those are all important pieces of the puzzle to have a valid method in place. Lastly, we didn't talk about money management. Extremely important, how many shares, how many contracts to purchase. These are all very important pieces of the puzzle. Well, here's a great way to take your trading to the next level. That'll answer all of those questions. We're gonna offer you a great discount on the candlestick combo. This is our candlestick combo special. This is strategy number five, along with the pet D. You're gonna get instant course access, educational correspondence, all the entries, all the exits, all the stops, and this comes with four entirely separate pet D trading techniques, okay? This is all included. But if you remember at the beginning of this presentation, I said that all the displays today were taken from our PTS Primo Charting platform. Everything is one click away, easy access. Well, we're gonna throw in 12 months of the platform. This is an extra $1,200 to get this, but we're gonna discount that today. We're gonna to throw in 12 months entirely free. You're not gonna to have to pay for anything, a full year of our platform. I designed this to have everything one click away. But you're not gonna just get the candlestick combo. You're also going to get our proprietary buy sell line. This tells you the overall trend. You're going to get over 90 of the most prominent technical indicators. You're also going to get our strength of trend tool. This is a tool I developed with ProTrader Strategies that has an uncanny ability oftentimes to tell you if there's more strength or more momentum left in a very strong trend, such as the trend you're seeing today in today's markets. But here's the most important thing. This is a great, great advantage you have to use in our PTS Primo charts. We have automatic exit levels on the platform. This is one of our exit methods that is produced automatically on the platform. For example, look at this older chart of BSX. Here's a candlestick combo sell signal, all right? Prior to even getting into the trade, all you have to do is click on the candlestick combo arrow and you will see the exits levels automatically generated. So if you're the type of trader who says, listen, I like to get in and out quickly, maybe I'll sell and cover right here. Or if you're a swing trader, maybe you'll cover here or here. Or if you're the type of trader that likes to stay in as long as possible, you'd stay at our fourth exit level. You'll exit there. And look what happened. We went right down there to the fourth level and then quickly reversed. This works to the upside as well. Here's a candlestick combo buy signal, all right? An older chart in DKS, Dick Sporting Goods, okay? Prior to even entering to the trade, you would have known where these four proprietary levels were. So you could have made a decision. Is it worth taking this trade or where do I want to exit? And had you taken the highest exit point right there? Well, look at that, a very nice trade in about a week's time, you could have exited right there at the top. This is included on the platform, along with so many other things, including personalized tech support. So we're offering you all this for free, a full year. Now there's so many more edges and advantages on the platform that I can't explain right now because it just would take too much time. I want to take, don't want to take all of your day. But there are 43 years of experience of things I've accumulated, different techniques and tips and methods on our platform that come with this for the, your year's free usage of the platform. So here's how to take advantage of this great offer. All right, remember, you're getting our candlestick strategy number five, along with the pet D, this makes up our candlestick combo special. This comes with educational correspondence. That's my personal email. You can uh, email me with whatever you'd like with any questions concerning trading. Now, normally, this would cost you thousands of dollars. We're gonna discount down to a one-time fee of only $4.97 along with $97 per month. That's a great, great offer. Less than $500 and $97 per month, you can be up and running as early as today. Remember, that comes with one full year, 12 months of the PTS Primo Charts entirely free. Now we have a lot of students who say, Steve, listen, I don't want a monthly payment, I'm sold. I, can I just pay for this altogether? Sure, if you're the type of person, we'll discount that as well. Rather than spending thousands and thousands of dollars, for a one-time only fee of $29.95, you can have everything all together, okay? That still includes the PTS Primo charts for a full year. This is a great, great offer to take your trading to the next level. Remember, we're at the end of 2020. A year from today, you will have wished you became a member of the Candlestick Combo course. You don't want to be in the same spot you are one year from today. You want to be in an elevated, more advanced way of trading take your trading to the next level, become a student of mine in the Candlestick Combo course at this great discount.
Remember, the price is usually close to $5,000. If you want to have a one-time payment, it's discounted at $29.95. Or if you'd like to have payment plans, it's a one-time fee of $4.97 with a small payment of $97 per month. Both instances come with one full year of the platform. So here's how to take advantage of this great, great offer. Contact Pro Trader Strategies, my sister's site. They developed the, pro, uh, the platform and all of the uh, programs with me, all of our courses. You can call them directly. I would suggest that if you're interested in developing a payment plan and you'd like some more information on that, you can call them at 310-598-6677. Now, that link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to the information page. You can also sign up online if you'd like. That's not a live link, but they've just posted a live link in the chat box on the GoToWebinar column. So you can simply click that on and it will take you to that sign up page. Remember, contact Pro Trader Strategies if you have questions concerning pricing or tech support or anything concerning the platform or the course altogether. Now, anything concerning trading or what I went over today, I invite you to ask me questions. Just go to the question and answer box and type them in right now. And I promise I will take the last portion to answer any questions, okay? Uh, see a question here, what is the win-loss ratio of this method? Probably the most common question I get with all of my webinars. First of all, let me explain. In order to come up with a win-loss ratio for any type of trading method, that would require that everyone trade this the exact same way. OK, because that's how you get the statistics, right? Because everyone is going to be trading this the same way. So if you trade it the same way, this is your win loss ratio. <clears throat> but remember, if you recall, I stated our philosophy is that no two traders should ever trade alike. So we don't believe in statistics or numbers at special trading, because frankly, it's been my experience in 43 years. The numbers never hold up. Perfect example. Years ago, I was asked to teach and even trade for a company some systems that had win-loss ratios, that had some tremendous statistics going back 10, some 20 years. And they were phenomenal numbers, very small uh, number of losses, phenomenal gains, uh, very good win-loss ratio. And so the systems worked great until 2008. And then we all know what happened then, right? And guess what? Each and every one of these systems lost everything. They failed completely. So what happened to the win-loss ratio? What happened to the phenomenal statistics? This is why I don't place a lot of uh, you know, uh, importance in them because you have to be able to have something based off structure and numbers, but you have to be able to adjust and edit when the market adjusts and edit. edit. So when the market changes, you can't be doing the exact same thing because the win-loss ratios, the statistics go right out the window. Trust me, I've traded enough systems. I've taught systems, each and every one of them has blown up. They've all ultimately lost, regardless of how good the numbers were. That's why we don't believe in them. You have to be a part of the process. You have to decide where you want to exit. You have to decide where you want to enter. And that's what you make your own personal win-loss ratio. That's where you make your own personal statistics, okay? Uh, next question, uh, what platforms does this work on? Good question. You can apply this now. Remember, when we say work on, you can uh, get the candlestick combo up and down arrows along with the pet D. You can get those on TradeStation, Metastock, uh, MT4, uh, uh, Sierra Charts, NinjaTrader. Um, did I say TradeStation? Yeah. Um, and most of the major uh, platforms. Now, I know some of you think th are using Thinkorswim. You can also apply it with Thinkorswim, but there's a few small changes you, that need to be made. The good news is, is that our tech support helps you with that. So it's not just as simple as downloading it and you get it uh, on TradeStation or Metastock. With Thinkorswim, you have to do some changes, but we take care of that all for you. If you have questions, remember, once again, concerning the platform, uh, contact Pro Trader Strategies. There's absolutely no obligation. I would give them a call and ask them questions about tech support and things of that nature. But I would say the majority of the major platforms uh, you can apply. Here's the one difference though. Remember, if you apply the candlestick combo, that's the pet D color bars, along with the up and down arrows on another platform, that's great. But you won't get all of the advantages that you have on our platform. Remember, you won't get the scanning uh, ability involved. You won't get the automatic exits. You won't get a lot of the, um, uh, uh, other uh, tools and edges as, such as a strength of trend tool, such as a top bottom 25% indicator, such as um, uh, 
uh, let me see, there's the strength of trend. Uh, I think there's also some other uh, short-term indicators also involved, just a, a host of different things I can't think of right now, but that all comes included for free for a full year. So what a lot of students do is they like to take their setups and they like to uh, find their information on the platform and then they toggle back onto their traditional platform for entering and trading off of, okay? So that's very standard, very common. So it's good to have both, okay? Uh, good questions though. Another question on Thinkorswim, yes. You can apply this with Thinkorswim. There's just a few alterations you need to be made and our tech support will help you with that. In fact, our tech support will do it for you. <laughs> and it's very simple, but it's not as easy as just uploading it on TradeStation or Metastop, okay? So they'll take care of it all for you. Remember, if you have any questions concerning the tech support or what are the platforms you can apply this to or the payment plans, please do not hesitate to contact Pro Trader Strategies. I would give them a call right away. There's absolutely no obligation. They have trading consultants manning the phones right now. They would be more than happy just to answer your questions. They're not gonna try and sell you anything at 310-598-6677. Then you can watch this video and think for yourself and say, you know what? This does make a lot of sense. This is a great price. And guess what? You know, my trading is going nowhere in 2020. I want to go up to the next level. I can use this. This has really helped me. And I, you know, looked at what Steve was talking about, about trading candlesticks in sync with the trend. And this stuff really works. There is consistency in it. So why not have everything there one click away for me? It really makes sense to take advantage of it. Then simply contact Pro Trader Strategies and make your decision with them over the phone if you want to make a, a one-time payment or if you'd like to, to uh, have a one-time payment along with a small monthly fee, okay? Remember, we're at the end of 2020. Most of you, you know, don't worry. I was there myself 43 years ago when I first started. We make all these hopes and dreams and goals and wishes how we want to conclude the year. And I would say the majority of us never end up getting there. Why? Because we're taught the wrong thing. We're taught how to pick tops and bottoms. We're taught to rely on, on the earnings or some guy in the chat room. Why don't we just listen to the market? And that's how you become consistent. Trading is really simple. It's the trader and what we've been taught that make it more complicated than it has to be. You saw how simple it was to, uh, to uh, see these setups for today. It's really, really easy. If you have any questions concerning the platform, concerning the data, concerning pricing, contact Pro Trader Strategies, okay? As we conclude and take one last look at our uh, Disclaimer, I just want to say thank you so much for attending today. I hope you learned something about candlesticks, but more importantly, I really hope you elevate your trading going into 2021 by becoming a student of mine in the Candlestick Combo course. Thank you so much for taking time out of your Wednesday. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.